question 3 in tutorial sheet 4. And this question says, suppose that the supply curve for labor to a firm is given by this equation here, and the marginal expense of labor curve is given by this equation here, where W is the market wage. Suppose also that the firm's demand for labor, marginal revenue product curve is given by this equation here. So part A says, if the firm acts as a monopsonist, how many workers would it hire in order to maximize profit? What wage would it be? And how will this wage compare to the marginal revenue product of labor or the MRPL at this employment level? Right, so we know for a monopsonist, the marginal expense of labor must equal to a marginal revenue product of labor. So we need to solve the marginal revenue product of labor and we would use the demand equation first. So 100 MRPL is equal to 1000 minus the demand for labor. So your MRPL is actually equal to 10 minus L over 100. Now, we know that the MRPL is equal to the marginal expense of labor for a monopsonist. So this would be L over 50 from up here equals to your marginal revenue product, which is 10 minus L over 100. I'm going to just come across here. So we have L over 50 plus L over 100 equal 10. So L over 50 plus 0 0.5 L over 50 equals a 10. So therefore we have 1.5 L over 50 is equal to 10. Therefore 1.5 L is equal to 500. Therefore L is equal to 333. Now that we have L equal 333, we could substitute this into this equation here, the supply for labor, so that we can get the wage. So we know that the supply for labor is equal to 100W. We know that L is equal to 333. So 333 is equal to 100W. Therefore, W is equal to 3.33. Now the question also asks, how will this wage compare to the MLPL at this employment level? So using this equation here, we can calculate that. The MLPL is equal to 10 minus L over 100. So this is equal to 10 minus L, L is 333, divided by 100, which is equal to 6.67. The workers would receive only about half of their marginal revenue product as wage, right? Because the wage is 3.33, but the MRPL is 6.67. And that answers part A of the question. So part B of the question says, assume now that the firm must hire its workers in a perfectly competitive labor market, but it still acts as a monopoly when selling its output. How many workers will the firm hire now and what wage would it be? So in this case, for a perfectly competitive market, the wage is equal to the MRPL. So we can calculate this from the supply curve. Notice that the supply curve, we saw that L is equal to 100 W. Therefore, the wage is equal to L over 100. And we'll come back to this just now. From the demand curve, we know that the labor demanded is equal to 1000 minus 100 times the MRPL, and using this equation here, we can substitute wage as MRPL. So this is equal to 1000 minus 100 times L over 100. L is equal to 1000 minus L. So therefore we have 2L is equal to 1000, therefore L is equal to 500. Now, with this value of labor, the wage, remember wage, is equal to L over 100. Therefore, the wage would be 500 divided by 100, which is just equal to $5. And that answers part B of the question. Now, part C of the question says to graph your results. So this is the graph for your results. So this is the graph that shows both the monopsonistic and the competitive equilibria. 
So this part right here is the monopsonistic equilibrium and this part right here is the competitive equilibrium. And that's it for this question. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.